Hello everyone. Sports logo design number two, mountain bike. So this is what we're going to do today. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so first please download this file from the link I provided in my description. So this is an illustrator file, uh, two images, mountain, and then on the tree. And also go to our website, uh, thefont.com, and uh, please find the typeface style grunge. And then on page number three, you will find the typeface I was using, I'm using on this tutorial. Uh, it is called, uh, where are you? Yep, Silver Forte Grunge. Please download this file. Okay, then. Let's get started in Illustrator. So first, uh, we have these two elements. And then first the thing is, I'm going to draw uh, a gear shape. So choose your ellipse tool, um, fill color in black and no stroke color. Click and set the size to a 300 point by 300 point. Perfect circle. Okay, now switch your tool to a rectangle tool and click and set the size to 25 point by 30 point. Just like this. Okay, and let me zoom in. Now, I'm gonna choose my uh, direct selection tool and select the uh, top two anchor points. You see the, uh, these two little tiny circles and round the corner, about that. Okay, then now switch your tool to a uh, free transform tool. Then select the perspective then select the anchor point, the corner, hold on the shift key and drag it. So make it the top narrower, just like that. And then locate it somewhere there. Okay, select both. Let me zoom out. Open the alignment panel and center together. Okay, now select the top little teeth then uh, change the view mode from the uh, out, out, out from the preview to outline view just like this now you're going to see that little tiny circle in the middle that's the other center point and choose your tool rotate tool this time and place your mouse cursor on that center point there hold down the option you see the three dots click we're going to rotate 15 degree angle copy and let's uh, just repeat it Hold down the command key, hit the D key until you have all this little teeth around. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going back to uh, the preview mode. Select all. Then under your pathfinder, choose the area that united as one shape. Deselect. Now choose your direct selection tool. White arrow. Click. Then zoom in. You see the uh, this little tiny circles keep pressing one of them and round the corner like that okay so we have a basic gear shape the bike gear okay now choose your uh, um, ellipse tool set the fill color to this orange this is one of my favorite color i'm gonna draw big orange circle the perfect circle in the middle just like that it is not perfectly uh, centered, so let me select both. Open the alignment panel, horizontal, and the vertical center. So it's a perfectly aligned uh, in center. Okay, now select this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, now select uh, your line tool. Place your line tool somewhere a little above. Th this is a center, a little above the center line, somewhere there. Hold on the shift key and drag the line across like that now select your selection tool so this line is selected hold on the shift key and select the uh, uh, the circle then choose the, your shape builder hold down the option delete the bottom half it's a little more than half and there's another line there and let me zoom in option get rid of that line option Get rid of this line. 
Okay, so we're getting in there. Now next, we're gonna have this mountain and the uh, tree. Okay, so take this mountain, place it, it is behind. So under object menu, arrange it and bring to front. I'm gonna place it there. Okay, now the tree. It is behind. So let me go back to our object menu, arrange it, bring to front. I'm going to place one here. Let me zoom in. Somewhere, maybe there. I'm going to make it slightly smaller. Okay. And let me make a copy by, hold, by holding down the option key. I'm going to make it even smaller. Tree there. So we're there. I'm going to have another one. This time, taller and narrower. Place it there. Okay. And we'll have more. Select this option. Make it slightly smaller than this. Okay. I'm going to make another copy. Make it narrower and taller. Yes, so it looks good. So we have mountains and then we have the other trees. Also, I want to have some kind of a cloud shape. So let me choose the just a regular line tool, the pen tool, and then uh, set your fill color to nothing, the stroke color in black. I'm gonna set my stroke color to the finest line. And let me draw one really simple line like that like a sunset. Just leave it like there. I'm going to have a few more there. There. Let me have one more there. Just like that. Okay, now select all these three shapes and let me switch the color in black. Okay, so um, I can adjust a little bit up, maybe a little down. This one somewhere there. Okay, so it looks okay. Now, I'm going to have a letter, a uh, mountain bike. So the typeface, uh, please download that typeface, the silver forte grunge things. So let me move this up a little bit. I'm going to type the word mountain bike. Make it a little bit bigger. And then typeface was this, Silver Forte Grunge, this one. Okay, let me make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is pretty the fancy typeface, but I don't like the kerning. You see the uh, the spacing between T and A. So what I'm going to do is, let me go to type menu, create outlines, and then let me ungroup them. And let me zoom in. I'm going to select these three letters, A, I, N. And let me move it to the left, closer to the T. Okay, so I think that looks better is correct there the kerning then uh, let me switch the color from black to white and then let me choose my um, rectangle tool set the fill color in black let me draw one rectangle just like that and i'm going to send it to back arrange send to back all right let me arrange it line up there i'm going to reduce the size of this black rectangle about this so I can have kind of same amount of a margin around Maybe a little bit more okay so select both take text and then a black box let me group them okay now go to um, effect menu warp uh, arc lower so you can adjust the um, um, the, the value so this is my value minus 17% Say OK, and then go to Object Menu, Expand the Appearance as a shape. And I'm going to make it a little bit taller, like that. 
okay and also let me choose my um, direct selection tool i'm going to select top anchor point top left top right i'm holding down the shift key bottom right and bottom left and let me round the corner maybe just like that maybe not too much okay now i'm going to move this up i'm going to place it somewhere there okay it's not too bad but i want to have kind of a better the smoother connection so let me zoom in and let me reduce the size just like that okay and then this one too there okay a little bit taller all right so it's not too bad and next <clears throat> excuse me i want to have a kind of little lake in front of the mountain so let me draw uh, a rectangle choose your rectangle tool set your fill color in blue we're going to change the color later let me zoom in a little bit i'm going to have a little rectangle somewhere there like that okay then select your add anchor point tool uh plus pen tool and please add three more anchor points on left and on right one two and three now select your direct selection tool choose one of them and choose another one and choose this and drag it so it is too even it is not interesting so i'm going to give some more kind of a variation variations so let me pull more a little more and this one and this one something like that okay and i will do the same thing in here like that you go there okay okay so so far that's what we have it's not too bad now i want to have the um you know what i'm going to pull this a little more this whole thing okay it looks more balanced okay now i'm going to have the um, uh the gear she uh, the uh the bicycles the chain uh so let me zoom in on the bottom here so first let me draw one perfect circle i'm gonna set choose the ellipse tool set the my fill color in black let me draw perfect circle just like this okay then let me copy this and paste in front so there's another one right on top hold down the option keep pressing the um, the top right and then shift key make it smaller about that size about that size okay i'm gonna set the other field color of the smaller one in the orange select both hold down the option keep pressing and the shift make a copy right next to it like that and i'm gonna draw another rectangle in black kind of linking both circles just like that i want to make sure everything's lined up in center select everything align and vertical align center yes All right then select the black pieces one two three then open the pathfinder united as a one shape so it's it is on top now so let me go back to object menu arrange send to back okay now select everything in the pathfinder window one two three four the fourth one exclude so we have that it looks like a binocular then deselect choose your direct selection tool select this point hold down the option this three and four you see that the four uh the tiny circles choose one of them keep pressing and drag it just like that so this is kind of a one the basic module for the, the bicycle chain let me zoom out 
I think this is kind of a way too big. Make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to rotate it 45 degree angle. Okay. Then let me make a copy. Hold down the option. Keep pressing. And drag right next to it. I'm going to rotate 180. Just like this. Then zoom in. Under view menu. <clears throat> excuse me. Let me change the view menu to outline view. I want to overlap it right on top, so I'm going. I'm hitting. Uh, keep pressing my shift key, and right on top, like that. Select both. Option. Keep pressing your mouse button, shift and drag it, and another copy. Right on top, so it has the kind of M shape. See. Now I'm going back to preview mode. Select everything. Now, go to object menu, path and offset path set the value i think six point looks good okay select everything again now choose the your shape builder tool hold down the option delete the inner circles first we don't need them let me zoom in see there are a lot of little pieces so you go away go away go away i will do the same thing so this is easy. Option. Okay. And here, option. And the last. Option. Keep pressing. Okay. Now, hold down the option key. Delete all the outer borders, the, 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 the heavy lines. Uh, I don't need them. I don't need it. Delete. Delete, 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 and delete, and delete this piece as well. So from now on, one goes over, one goes under. So hold down the option. I'm going to delete this piece. Okay, I'm going to delete that piece. Oh, I'm sorry, not this one. This piece. And I'm going to delete this piece. Okay, select everything, Pathfinder, United. So it's a kind of a, the, uh, the bicycle chain, and then it makes some kind of a little M shape, like a mountain. So let me select this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Let me place it on top here. So gear and the chain. Also, I want to say something. Let me type the word, uh, fill the mountain i'm gonna use the same color let me use my um what is this eyedropper you know what i don't want to keep this color i want to make it a little brighter so i'm gonna add more white okay so here and then a text uh let me use a different typeface for that character i'm gonna use that and then let me make it a little bit bigger. Fill the mountain. All right. So we are done. So this is the uh, mountain bike uh, symbol logo for the um, some mountain bike uh, companies or the associations or a group of people uh, with the, the gear shape and the chain and the mountain and trees and the lake. And then on this grunge uh, typeface. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.